attention to someone who cares, or do you want me to pound you too? Mr. Virch, perhaps I should. Uh, who do you think you are? So now you're going to play the man and stop me? This gets better by the minute. Let's see you try. Alright, awesome. So, this is an artist and an Alakazam. Yeah, Alakazam, and boom. Mystery Man Otis defeated Zook. Be your power! So yeah, he's kind of... He, he reminds me of a staff from a certain website. <laughs> You've done it now. Don't think you're getting away with messing with the great Zook. Remember this! Should I give chase? No, that won't be necessary. He won't come back. Leave him be. Yes, sir. Let us be on our way now. Uh, thank you. Oh, this hardly deserves such gratitude, my little lady. We only did what we what had to be done. Nothing more. Anyways, now that that's done with... Jovi? Is that you, Jovi? Oh! Emily and Acre! Jovi! So it was you, Jovi, being harassed by that big strange man. Are you okay? Yep, some strong people helped us. Big Brother was there too, so nothing bad happened. Jovi came here on an important visit. Big Brother is J Jovi's, is Jovi's assistant today. Oh, you must be jo Jovi's older brother, Michael. I'm glad we finally met. I'm Emily. Hi, Jovi's big brother. Jovi has been a very nice friend of to my daughter, Emily. What elderly gentleman? His name is Mr. Verich. He comes here by boat with his two assistants occasionally. There's something mysterious about him, don't you think? He's supposed to be some fabulously wealthy rumors that give me shivers. Or shivers, whatever. I'm hoping to become a novelist whenever I come across anything mysterious. When I, I, I try to imagine a story around it. Anyways, be careful in this town. There are a lot of rough customers around. Emily, we should be going. Okay, bye bye, Joey. Yep, see ya, Emily. Alright. So we can talk to this guy here. How did you want something here? The storekeeper's out right now. He said something about having to go to Dr. Kami. Uh, what was it now? Well, to the doctor's manor is where he went. He said his grandson, her, will be back from repairing the rotating ridge. As I'm supposed to mine the shop and sell them. But I don't know where anything is or how to make up a sale or anything. I have no clue what to do. I suppose it doesn't matter though. It's really quiet here. I'm getting awfully bored, really. If you'd like, how about you help me while. Well, some time away. I've got a tale to tell that may, f may find interesting. When I was younger, I sailed the world the seas as a navigator. Our world is huge, and this huge world is filled with incredible confusion of Pokemon. All the Pokemon in our world, the one that found the most interesting is Eevee. Now, Eevee is a unique Pokemon. It can evolve into five different kinds of Pokemon, you see. While I sailed it, I studied quite exhaustively. As a result, I obtained five items that are the keys to Eevee's evolution. Oh, you say you're raising an Eevee? What a fortuitous coincidence. It must this must have been meant to happen. Well, let me commemorate you this occasion by giving you one of the five items. There's no need to be shy about it. Go ahead, choose one. 
Okay, so you can choose the Water Stone, Thunder Stone, Fire Stone, and the Sun Shard. I am going to go ahead and go with the Sun Shard. Nah, I'm going with the Moon Shard. I was going to go with the Sun Shard to make it evolve into Espeon, because Espeon looks like Twilight Sparkle, but... Not everyone that is a fan of mine is a brony, so... I'll go with Umbreon. Moonshot reminds me of Luna! Okay, now. That Moonshot will make an Eevee evolve into the Pokemon Umbreon, but it's not all that simple. First, you need to keep the Moonshot with you all the time. Don't put it in away in the PC and don't throw it out. You also need to keep your Eevee with you. If your Eevee's friendliness and sufficient is high, it will evolve when it levels up. Remember, you have to have that moon shard with you and your Eevee has to be friendly enough to you when it levels up for it to evolve. So would you like to have the moon shard? Yes. Fine. You can have the moon shard just like your Eevee. Eevee it's invaluable. Alright, so we obtain the moon shard. You're so lucky big brother. Jovia wants something too. Too bad. Eh. So well, now we're gonna go over here. Ooh, that sounds that all fixed. You want to talk to me? Yeah, the parts shop is ours. Huh? You need a man. She part? Where's Grandpa? He's gone to the Dr. Kaminko's. Ah, when my grandpa gets excited over some kind of thing, he's off like a shot. Never mind, the shop or his grandson me. I'll find the machine part you need. Can I get you to come to our shop? Man, grandpa should be so lucky to have a caring grandson like me looking after him. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, go back in here, get, get in. Sorry, we're, sorry we were out. A machine part, you said, right? Here it is, here it is, this is it, here you go. So we got the machine part. It's a rare item, that machine part. It took a while to get the order in. How's your director, Professor Crane, doing? I'm going to explain what happened to, to her. Huh, the HQ Labs director was abducted by some lagoons to shadow Pokemon? I've been through something like that before, but who would have thought it'd happen again? I hope the lab director is found. I'll be rooting for you, so don't give up. Man. Okay. Anyway, so we're gonna head back to the lab now. Oh, Michael, could you wait just one second? I found some more memos I wrote up with the director. I thought you should have them, Michael. Okay, so we got Crane Memo 3 and Crane Memo 4. And Crane Memo 5. They'll give you some basic information about Shadow Pokemon. I'd like you to read them over at least once. Or none. Because, you know, I'm Bile Twist. I don't do that shit. Anyways, I believe we want to go in here now? No. We want to go back up to where we were. Oh, forget that. Yeah. Alright. i talk to you. Welcome back, Michael. Was Jovi well behaved? We ran into some. We ran into Aaron like you wanted, mommy. A 
bad guy tried to stop us, but a nice person helped us. Oh no, really? I'll cut the details later. What about the machine parts? Alright, so we give them the machine parts. Thank you. With this component, we can get down to finishing touches with the purified chamber. I should take this down to the purified chamber on the ground floor now. Oh, Jovi will take care of it. Jovi, are you sure? Don't drop it. Jovi can do it. Michael, how is your Shadow Pokemon doing? Purification prog progresses. If a Shadow Pokemon spends its time together with its trainer, has the heart gauge fallen to zero? No. Oh. But the time the purified chamber is completed, the heart gauge should be down to zero. If the heart gauge has fallen to zero, the Shadow Pokemon is ready to open its heart, but that alone isn't enough. To complete the process, the Pokemon needs to go through the purification ceremony. It's basically a ritual to return it to its normal state. If the purified chamber were ready, it could go through a ceremony there, but it looks like we'll need a little more time to get finished. Because of that, I think your Shadow Pokemon should go through a purification ceremony using a different process. There is a village called Agit. In the, in the village is the Relic Stone, which has the powers to restore Shadow Pokemon to their natural state. It worries me a lot to send you to such a far place by yourself, dear, but I also think it's something that only you can do. Well, dear, will you go to Agit Village? Sure. Take a mic. Thank you. You know, Michael, I'm so proud of how you become more and more dependable. I get it's southeast from here, but it's not very close. So you're going to speak to e Egon, or whatever the hell his name is. The Relic Stone, which is used for purification ceremony, is under the care of a man named Egon. I will get in touch with him so that he knows you're coming, Michael. I will do my best to get the purified chamber finished while you're gone. Please be careful, Michael. Alright. Some of you may remember I get Village from Pokemon Coliseum, if you've watched my Let's Play or played the game. So yeah, we're just gonna go down here. Item right off the bat. You get a Pokeball. Awesome. Eh. Alright, so we have to go to Egon's house. Some of you might remember him from Pokemon Coliseum. Yes, I am Michael. Oh, I just thought you were Michael. I'll be really expecting you. You got word from Lily, you see. We understand you. We want to purify Shadow Pokemon. The instant of my husband heard from Lily, what? Should have seen excitement and enthusiasm. Shouting, this calls for my services, or some starch, and he went off running. Who, to who knows where? He hasn't come back since. Dear, I got everything ready. We're ready to visit. For HQ lab, wherever he arrives. Oh? Hello, dear. Our guest Michael has just arrived. So you're Michael. We've been, wait we've been waiting. I'm Egon. I've heard everything that Lily had to say. As you know, the purify Shadow Pokemon, it must open its heart to the trainer. While there are several approaches, several approaches, but battles are best, no doubt at all. The place to do that here is the Relic Forest, which is home to the Relic Stone. I will go ahead and wait for you there. My husband is so impatient as you've just seen. In his day, he was a hell, hell as the greatest trainer, but that's a long time ago. Well then. Alright, so I have to go to the Relic Stone. I used to. I played this. I. Like, that. I played this game before beating Pokemon Coliseum, so I originally had like no idea where to go. And then I, and then I, th I, I thought this was a bit, and I just go down here. I'm like, oh. Yeah, anyways, uh, before we 
go in there. I think there's something over there. If I remember correctly, no, no, they aren't. Well, I'm done. Okay. Anyways. Hey, Matthew Michael. That ego was talking about. I heard it. The battle to open the heart to shadow Pokemon. The rug is through this cave. Don't give up. Alright, awesome. I hope you prefer fight Shadow Pokemon by having a battle with you. Are you ready to get started? Yeah, sure. Okay, now let's get with it. Okay, so yeah, cool trainer Gorps. The Zigzagoon and a Numble. Now, in these series of games, battles are mainly double battles. You, they, you can do single battles at some parts of the game, but not really a lot. So anyway, I'm just gonna spam here. Boom! Because, what, what, really? Like, in Pokemon games, that's mainly what I do. I just spam. Yeah, we're gonna use Shadow Blitz, which only Shadow Pokemon can use. <laughs> What's this? You gonna go and tail it? So I can see that little gauge of below Teddy Ursus' health is dropping, which shows that and when it drops down all the way, it can be purified. So yeah, I'm just going to use Tackle again. We're going to finish off Numble. So, congratulations, Eevee evolved into Umbreon. To open up the close heart of a Shadow Pokemon, entering it in battle is this effective. That's why you should make Shadow Pokemon battle whenever it's possible. I hope your Shadow Pokemon gets purified soon. Michael, aren't you? I heard about you from Egon. Let's battle right away. Here we go. Alright, so we got Super Trainer. Alright, so we got a snubble and a pork fish. Oh, we're gonna sit down. It's an Eevee and Teddy. Or, no, not Eevee. Umbreon and Teddy Mesa. Let's go with pork fish. Yeah, we're still just gonna spam tackle. I have nothing better to use. We're gonna go with Shadow Blitz. Damn dogs. I'm gonna kill him. 
Uh, Another thing I should note about Shadow Pokemon is that they cannot level up until purified. 